Hello and welcome. A very special interview with Nigar Sultana Jyoti, skipper of the Bangladesh women's team. And all of us have seen how she conducted herself uh, when India versus Bangladesh played in Bangladesh last week. Uh, all of us have, have talked about it. The whole world has talked about it. And let me just quiz her a little bit more today about what this series means for the Bangladesh women's team. Jyoti, first of all, thank you very much for your questions. Your Bangladesh cricket, how important was this result? I mean, 1-1 one, one against India in the 50-over game, even in the T20 series, uh, you could have won. Uh, the second match, I thought, was, was very, very close. So how important is it, the three points that you got, how important is this series from the perspective of Bangladesh cricket? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. And uh, the thing is, we are always looking for the momentum that we were always wanted. Uh, uh, we have been working so hard for so many uh, for so many months and the thing is we couldn't see our result uh, even though when we entered the bilateral series that we played against New Zealand but we could uh, we didn't well play well and obviously and the ODI series actually was up to the rain and in Sri Lanka also the same thing we couldn't play the whole series the ODI series so we just only win uh, one game against Sri Lanka uh, so the main important thing was we, we just wanted to play our positive game obviously against of India and uh, after a long time about 11 years later uh, that we get we got the opportunity to play in the home ground in Mirpur Stadium so we just wanted to play our base game that people could know at least that uh, we are improving and we could play for the balance. Uh obviously it is very important 185 for four and all of us thought India will win. I mean, that batting order, we still had a lot of batting left. 185 for four, six wickets in hand. The asking rate was 4.36. We thought India would win. Were you tense? And you then went to a relatively young person who actually has passed her SSC exam today, Marufa Akhtar. So congratulations to her. So you went to her, talk to me as, as skipper. When you give, gave the ball to her, what was the mindset? Talk to me. The thing is, uh, when we got the break, just because of the rain, so I I was telling my girl that maybe they will come in uh, hard on us or or what we can do is we are going to, uh, we can get them if we can pick up two, three wickets early. So when I gave the ball to Marufa, because she is uh, she has a natural in-swinger and she has uh, the talent of ball yoga very well. So I was telling her, if you can, just bowl a yoga ball or just bowl a wicket to wicket ball if uh, the batter cannot play it maybe she could bowl or maybe we could get a lb down because she she is very consistent in the wicket ball so but i actually did not tell her any kind of thing that pressurize her on that moment because she's so young so i just say if you if, if you can try to try a yoga ball but some somehow i think uh, she didn't bowl the yoga one, but somehow it worked out for us. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, 225, that last wicket, a huge, huge moment. Uh, Jyoti, that match, when I look back, there was so much unpleasantness about it, but you did not lose your pool. How do you look back at it? As captain of Bangladesh, you know, that, that, that whole moment, it was perhaps not in the spirit of the game. Uh, the Indian Cricket Board has not appealed against the ban which the ICC has handed over to our skipper. But when you look back, do you think it was done in the heat of the moment? Do you think, I mean, how do you look at the whole whole incident? The thing is, sometimes it happened, you already mentioned, like heat of the situation, maybe sometimes the better showed some kind of emotion in the ground. But um, as, a, as a player, I think it shouldn't be come out after the game. It's, it's whatever happened in the ground, we should left in the ground, not uh, bring out in the, after, after after the game. That thing it, it happens sometimes, but uh, in that moment I was totally in my game because I know I have to play the big role if if we want to play against them. So I was trying to keep myself calm and um, I'm telling my girls whatever happened in the ground, just don't think about, it, just play your game and back yourself. That's it. 
আপনি এক্ষুনি বললেন হোয়াট এভার হ্যাপেন শুড বি লেফট উইথ ইন দ্য গ্রাউন্ড এটার মানে কি মানে হোয়াট ডাজ ইট মিন when you say it should have been left in the ground what happened after i mean everything was in the field of play did anything even happen after the game that we don't know about you have seen everything yeah. you have seen everything what happened in the uh, post match uh, interview and what happened after so that means everything is clear in front of everyone the thing is uh, as a person as a player i think uh, uh, as a captain what kind of player she is obviously she is a legendary player there are a lot of things that we can take from her because uh, she is very experienced so uh, there are some uh, incident that very unexpected but still i think uh, we don't talk about it right now but whatever but the important thing is as a player we should uh, left some something behind like the the, the youngster should uh, learn from us so the legacy actually uh, i'm talking about like as a captain whatever i'm doing so many people watching me and so many youngster who want to play for bangladesh uh, what they are going to learn from me so i should have done something for the bangladesh that uh, people will think or people will say like no she has done something for bangladesh you know harman is one of our favorites also our captain one of the legends of our game so no question and i have written this that if she is the leader she should behave like the leader and there are lot many more girls who aspire to be like her so she should have acted responsibly one question before i ask you about uh, uh, a couple of more uh, question you know when when you walked away from the prize distribution you know we always tend to think that look whatever may have happened ultimately your team won the photo not happening when you look back was that the correct call at that point in time or maybe you should have sort of you know sort of held yourself back a little bit uh, how do you look at that was it the correct call when you when you think back the thing is i felt like it was very disrespectful for the team because we uh, draw the game right we have been play group good cricket so at this series obviously the uh, india is a very good team than us obviously they are higher ranked than us. so actually for for me i think uh, i was expecting more respect from them obviously if they skip up from india or the team from india say two positive things about us like they are improving bangladesh is a very good side they have played good cricket that would be very nice for the team so it was give us more confidence to play better for the next obviously so the thing is that everything was very unexpected and uh, when we went for the photo shoot uh, she was saying something that i didn't like it because uh, the team was there both the team is there and we have to share the trophy right because we have drawn the series but uh, she was still uh, telling the same thing so it was not the right environment to stand there obviously because uh, then those things are not very respectful for the team that's why i left okay i mean i i i won't push you because this is not the point of pushing you at all but all i will say is uh, she should also sort of take a lesson from this and act with a lot more restraint because the sport deserves that and as i said she is a legend of our game but one point uh, jyoti i have to make this there was a lot of talk on umpiring don't you think that if we have see and I, and why i'm saying it i will say this uh, we we keep talking about equality right men and women men's cricket women's cricket ultimately it is about equality and and an equal status so why is it that we will not have neutral umpires the moment you have neutral umpires all this talk about favoritism goes out of the window your thoughts on that see the thing is uh we didn't have any comparable comparison even though india india didn't have any um, issues in the t20 series why just because of they own the series right even the first game same thing they didn't say anything about umpiring in the t20 series so why in the odi series you have to think about it the other thing is an obvious no when they own it uh, on the second second odi there is no question about umpiring why is that so why in the last odi because there is that the expect, acceptance is not there that we they they beat from bangladesh the thing is the positivity is not there the same thing they do have this uh, video analyst right so everything was clear even though we got out the lbw this was there even though i was lbw in a match so i didn't say anything because 
we have told every time as an international player that Ampere decision is the final decision. Even though you are out or not out, you are you have in doubt or not, it doesn't matter. Because as an international player, this is our job to respect the game and respect the Ampere decision. You know, my job today is to ask questions, not to give opinions. I <laughs> I must say you've asked me some hard questions there and I will <laughs> leave our viewers to that. But finally, finally, I mean, the fact that Bangladesh played so well, do you think this will open doors to maybe the WPL, to more opportunities going forward for your cricketers, younger players, somebody like a Marufa Akhtar, to get more opportunities even in the WPL, open up many doors in future? So obviously, that thing is my point of view every time for my team is we wanted to play better cricket, positive cricket against the good side. Just because of that, we didn't have that exposure in the world that uh, how good we are, how capable we are. So I, I have been telling my girls that we have to do something like that, that the people will know about us. They wanted to know about us and obviously how Marufa actually bold. Uh, during the both the series, it was fabulous because you have seen how uh, capable she was there. Even though she is very young, but it's still she is showing so much maturity in the game. So the thing is obviously uh, so many players like Marufa, Rabia, uh, Fahima. So uh, so many young players they are coming up and uh, they are showing their character that how capable they are and they can uh, actually compete in the world cricket. So obviously, it will open a lot of door for them. Obviously, and if they could call, uh, they could get the call from WPL or the other franchises. It will be a great opportunity for them. I leave it at that. I leave it at that. I know you are on a holiday. I know you have family time. You've answered all my questions and posed some important questions for me as well. So I leave <laughs> it at that. All I will say is, hopefully, both the teams will be able to move past what happened. For the spirit of the sport and when you meet next there will be a shake of hands and we will see cricket win i will i will say that because ultimately both india and bangladesh are important cricketing nations and both our women's teams are important for the sport so i leave it at that thank you very much for your time i appreciate you joining me and all the very best well played bangladesh and we've said that all the very best to you going forward thank you so much